Israel TV Saudi Arabia, Egypt give U.S. President green light regarding Jerusalem Tehran FNA Israel's News 10 declared that Riyadh and Cairo gave U.S. President Donald Trump the go-ahead to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and move the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to the occupied city. The channel announced that the Arab party's reactions and condemnations are not genuine and are misleading, Middle East Monitor reported. Israeli journalist and head of the Arab desk at the news channel, ZVR Yehez Kelly stressed that the announcement could not have been made without coordination between Trump and his regional allies. I'm not sure about the Arab countries' reactions to this resolution. Yehez Kelly said, adding that the responses issued so far were not serious. U.S. President announced last Wednesday that Washington would be recognizing Jerusalem al-Quds as Israel's capital and ordered that work on the relocation of the American embassy from Tel Aviv to al-Quds begin. The move was hailed by Israel, but condemned by the rest of the international community as one which undermines the peace talks. Washington's Al-Quds move has raised a chorus of outcry across the international community. The Muslim world, the UN, world leaders from Europe to the Middle East to Australia, and even U.S. allies in the West have criticized the bid, saying it would plunge the already tumultuous region into new upheaval. Heavy clashes also broke out between Israeli troops and Palestinian protesters after Washington's decision in Jerusalem Al-Quds Old City, Hebron Al-Khalil, Bethlehem and Nablus in the West Bank as well as the besieged Gaza Strip. According to reports, thousands of Palestinians were wounded by Israeli army's fire during protests against the U.S. decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, while hundreds more were detained by Israeli forces and police. People in different countries have also hit the streets to denounce Trump's recognition of Jerusalem al-Quds as Israel's capital. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC, in a statement issued following an extraordinary summit in Turkey's Istanbul on Wednesday, declared East Jerusalem the capital of Palestine under occupation and urged the U.S. to withdraw from the peace process and back down from its Jerusalem decision.